This is a guide on how to effectively use the Panasonic AG AC130 camera when creating a video production. To start using the camera you must first know how to turn it on. To do this locate the on off switch and push it to the right to turn the camera on. The viewfinder will turn on to indicate the camera is powered. Pushing the switch to the right again will switch the camera between shooting mode and preview mode. Before you can start shooting, you will first have to white balance the camera. White balancing is the process of calibrating the camera so that you have a natural colour temperature within your shot. To do this, hold the white piece of paper in front of the lens, zoom into the paper, then either press the automatic white balance button or white balance manually using the preset controls. You can change the focal length or zoom in two different ways. Select which mode you wish to use by selecting either manual or servo. On the manual setting, you will be able to move the focal ring easily. On the servo setting, you will have to use the zoom controls on the top of the camera. The W button, which stands for wide, will give you a wider angle on your shot and is used to give a greater area of view. An example would be wide shots. Pressing the T button, which stands for telephoto, will give you a magnified view of the shot. An example would be close-ups. To correctly expose your shots, you can turn the iris located on the camera lens. Doing this changes the aperture values of the shot. The aperture values are measured as an F number. For example, F2 allows a lot of light into the camera, while an aperture value of F11 will allow less light into the camera. By pressing the zebra button, you will see a stripe pattern appear on the camera's viewfinder. This stripe pattern helps you see where overexposed areas are on the shot. By turning the iris to a higher F number, this stripe pattern will disappear, telling you your shot is correctly exposed. If your shot is looking too dark and the camera iris is fully open, you can use gain to boost the video signal. However, by doing this, your shot will result in having video noise. Gain is measured in decibels and can be controlled manually. The opposite of gain is neutral density. Measured in fractions, the filter can be used if your shot is too bright and your aperture value is set to a low F number, F2 for example. The filter's job is to reduce the intensity of light equally over the frame. You can focus your shots in one of two ways, either automatically by pressing the automatic focus button this will focus from the middle of your frame and you have no control over the focus point of the shot. Alternatively, you can manually focus the camera by making sure the switch on the left hand side is set to manual and adjusting the focus ring on the camera lens accordingly. By using manual focus you can not only create deep focus shots where everything in your frame is sharp, but you can also easily create more dramatic shots such as pull focus and defocus shots as you will have more control over the camera depth of field. Other than the standard one shots and two shots, you can also use shots such as tilt, dutch angle and pan shots to make your film look more appealing. When recording sound using the onboard microphone, make sure both sound channel switches are up. If you plug a microphone into input 1, make sure the channel switch for input 1 is selected. This gives the microphone one audio channel. And if you plug a microphone into input 2, make sure the channel switches are down. This gives the microphone two audio channels. You can control the sound levels of the microphones by using the sound control dials on the camera. To start shooting with the camera, locate the on-off switch. In the middle of this switch, there is a red record button. By pressing it, you will begin to create a video clip. When you have finished, end the recording by pressing the red button again. When you are done using the camera, switch it off by locating the on-off switch. Push the switch to the left to turn the camera off. The viewfinder will turn off as a result.